What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Miles Gaskin. Um, just kind of going over kind of how his rookie year went. Now, obviously, our offensive line was terrible, and um, he didn't get the most snaps in the world. Uh, as you can see here, he only had 36 rushes, 133 yards, a touchdown. Um, seven catches, 51 uh, yards. So... Yeah, he, he didn't have the most productive rookie year in the world. But um, I am going to just kind of get into the film and just revisit and see exactly what he did. Now, I'm he only got to really play in seven games. I'm not going to watch the preseason ones because uh, with NFL film, I really don't like doing anything but the All-22s because copyright problems. So, uh yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into this. I don't think I need to point out the running back every time, but... Not really anywhere to go. Let me, sh let me see the other angle. Should be a better view. Yeah, offensive line just kind of let him down there. N nowhere to really go. Let's see what happens here. And the reason I'm doing this video is because I think he's one of the running backs that's really going to have to fight for a spot in this roster. Ugh. I mean, he did a good job making the first guy miss, but again, just nowhere to go. Blocking. Just non-existent. Yeah. I mean, he made the right cut. He was following his blocks. He, yeah. There's a reason that Ryan Fitzpatrick was our leading rusher. Nah. He should have caught that still. I know it was one-handed, but st and it did get tipped, but still. It hit his hands, it hit his hand pretty cleanly, so he needed to catch that. Oh well. Let's see what happens next. I'll show a little bit of a uh, fight there. I would have liked to see him bounce back a little bit quicker. His vision could definitely see some improvement, hopefully. There you go. A little bit of a decent block there. I think there was a hole that he could have taken that might have been a bit better, but... No, not really. That was the best bet. But he had enough blocking to actually get something done there. Those were really rare. I mean, our offensive line, I, I'm still not a big fan of it, but it's definitely much improved. Nice. Kind of got caught up on his guy a little bit, but... Followed his blocks nice, stayed patient. Good run. Yeah. Good job getting back to the line of scrimmage at least.
Mm. It's really hard to judge our running backs from last year. Their offensive line was ass, especially in the run game. I guess he was throwing two miles gas in there. Can't really hate on him. Nothing. Nothing to evaluate there. Let's just. Nice. Now he probably could have cut back inside. And been a bit more effective that way. Like if he would have made a hard step this direction, he probably could have gotten some more yards. But it is what it is. There. Still better run, and when he actually gets some decent blocking, he makes better plays. Who would have thought? Nice. Fighting for yards there. All right. One thing that that is good is he he's definitely not afraid of contact at all. He's a patient runner and he takes what he what he's given. Definitely a one cut and go kind of guy, which is fine. Definitely do want to see him in preseason. If well, no, there is no preseason to him. Uh, they had to cancel it. So, yeah. Man, it's going to be tough to evaluate these guys without preseason. Oh, man. I kind of feel like Miles Gaskin might just be the low guy in the totem pole, though. Unfortunately. I think Hammer, Patrick Laird... You're going to be the low man on the totem pole. Possibly Caleb Ball. Oh, nice. Show some power there. Because, like, right here, he showed some nice power and willingness to accept contact. But someone like Caleb Balaj, who's got about almost 30 pounds on him, has a little bit more power. He, he's a better receiving back, better blocker. It's kind of tough. It it really just depends on how many running backs we decide to keep. Then you got Malcolm Perry, the running back we draft. Ooh. Let me see that. Nice. Again, staying patient. It's going to be a fight, man. Like I said in a previous video, I personally would keep um I'd keep 3 running backs on the active roster and one on the practice squad. But in my eyes, let me go ahead and pause it. If we if we decide to keep four running backs and one on the active roster instead, I mean, four on the active roster, one on practice squad. That's what I meant to say. If we decide to do that, then obviously you got Howard and Brita at the top. Then I think Kalen Balaj would be your third guy. And then you would let Miles Gaskin and Patrick Laird battle for the fourth spot and then let Malcolm Perry have the practice squad spot. It's my thinking.
But it, it ultimately just depends on how many running backs they want. Little dump off pass. Like I said, I do like that he um, isn't afraid of contact. He really tries to power through people. Now, he's not necessarily a powerful guy. He's just not afraid to get physical. DB did a good job squaring his hips there, too. Helped secure that tackle. Nah, it's not going anywhere. Good try, but... Yeah, just nowhere to go. Uh, really sucks for these bottom-of-the-roster guys because the offensive line was so terrible last year, man. And now with no preseason to try to compete, it's it's rough. Like Patrick Laird, he had a fantastic preseason last year, and he ended up getting some significant playing time. But again, the O-line was terrible. And Gaskin got some significant playing time toward the end of the season, as you're seeing. He really didn't get a true chance into the last, like, two or three games. Yeah. Pretty much got him the second he got the ball in his hands, man. It's rough. Yeah. Not a fan of him fumbling there, but like I said, he just got the ball and he was already getting hit. It's the Giants now. I'm going to let it run through all the uh, all 22 film. Yeah, again, not really anywhere to go there. Um, let me see this angle. Yeah, I mean, he maybe could have, um, if he would have seen it, but he is a one cut and go type of back but me rewind it more if he would have seen it he may have been able to cut back to the right um, but 96 probably would have ended up wrapping up him up anyway they were uh, no never mind Jesse Davis handled his business there not a fan of Jesse Davis, but he did good there. Well, again, got stuffed, didn't really have anywhere to go. Jesus, <laughs> I forgot about that. They put him down hard there. First and ten. Two tight ends set. Nice little stiff arm, but again, just nowhere to go. Blocking was terrible. Blocking schemes were terrible. And also, our offensive line was a mismatch between power and finesse as well. It was just a... Ugh. They were basically just bodies in the way. Man coverage. Not that it really matters too much, but... Yeah. <laughs> I say that because the offensive line, like for a running play, it doesn't really matter if they're doing man or zone for us. At least not last year.
Because ultimately, zone running, it's the same thing, regardless. Yeah. Because ultimately, I'll use this... Well, okay, I'll use the next play to show what I'm talking about. Alright, so... So ultimately, the only thing that really matters is that you secure a gap when you're doing a zone run. So you have to make sure that this guy and this guy are secure. Make sure that they're not getting through. If you secure those guys, you're halfway through the battle. Then you have to get someone to climb up and block the mic. If you do that, mic being the inside linebacker, um, if you do that, you should be... Should be looking good, but they let go of a gap, and yeah, you see what happened. Yeah. Nice. Nice little stiff arm. Nice job getting to the sideline there. Nice little chip block. Very nice. Just got a chance to show a little bit of the uh, agility. It's really hard to show that when you're getting tackled the second you get the damn ball. Nice. Getting to see a little bit of him in open field. I mean, he's not the fastest guy in the world. Don't get it twisted, but he's got some quickness to him, for sure. Man, I don't like Michael Dieter. <laughs> Michael Dieter almost let that play fall apart. Again, he let go away. Hold on. I think my cats are fighting. Give me a sec, guys. Sorry about that. Let's just go ahead and get back into it. And yes, they were fighting. Went out there. There was just a bunch of black fur everywhere. They're both fine. But... Uh, that's not great. When he didn't to catch those, man, he's got to catch those. Doesn't get much easier than that one. Nice. Nice blocking for him. Able to get some decent yak yardage. More man to man. Maybe not. Nice. Let me um see the other angle there. Nice. Made the right read there. He had a linebacker the other direction, so it was really the only direction he could have gone. Hmm. 
Again, block and kind of let him down there, unfortunately. You sensing the trend yet? Yeah, shit almost gave out immediately. Once again, kind of more of the same. Got him in man coverage. Mm. Good read from the defender too, though, to be fair. Moving on to the Jets, it looks like. Yeah. Again, willingness to uh, lower his head and pick up the extra few yards. Something that's pretty consistent with Miles Gaskin. It's a trait that I really like in a running back. I think we're pretty much getting the consensus at this point, though. Yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna watch all these. I. I, th I think we're getting the basic consensus of what this is. I mean, uh, as far as his receiving skills go, they could definitely use some work, get more consistency with his hands. Um, not super explosive, but definitely has a little bit of quickness to him. Is willing to show physicality, but not necessarily the most powerful. But uh, I really want to see him compete against p people like Patrick Laird, potentially um, Kalen Balazs, and uh, Malcolm Perry to try to make this roster. Unfortunately, preseason is probably not going to be a thing this year, but um, that, that's just going to make it tough. I, I, I just have a feeling that he's on the bottom of the totem pole. Um, I could keep watching these, but I'm kind of just repeating myself over and over at this point. So, yeah. Anyway, I think that's pretty much going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.